is Julia Cook, and here's Kirby and Tommy, and we are here today for bookends. This is our last week, you guys. We are only going to read two more stories, and then we're done on May 15th. So today, we are going to read the technology tale. And we'll talk about being smart online and saying things we shouldn't and those kind of things. So Kirby's getting used to Tommy, and they're pretty good friends. If you want to see, they're about half the, she's about half the size of Kirby. Um, she's super spunky little dog, and Kirby's showing her the ropes. She's kind of tough because she's kind of really out of control sometimes. We love that about her. So, anyway, Kirby's teaching her how to be good, so hopefully she'll be ready to go into schools in the fall when we go back. All right, so I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about when you get online. And you just think, well, you know, I'm gonna get online, I'm gonna say what I wanna say, nobody's gonna care, who cares? Well, it really matters. Because what you post online follows you forever. So let's see who's tuning in. We have Lisa, Olivia, and Emily from Kansas, and Owen and Avery from Nebraska, and Braden and Evan, and Amy, I know I know her, hi Ames, and uh, Logan and Lane want to say hi to Kirby and Tommy. Hi Amber. So let's just start right off the bat by talking about this book. This is called The Technology Tale. When kids get online and hit send, they send a text message, or they send an email, or they get on Instagram and they post things. You guys need to know something. Those are hooked to you forever and ever and ever. Okay? So, let's start out by reading, and then we're going to have a little talk and a little activity. So, here we go. This is called The Technology Tale. Hey there, I see you. It's me, your friend, the screen. Please don't post those words. I don't like to be me. Whoa, who's in there? It's me, your screen. Um, <laughs> screens don't talk. I do, I talk all the time, and I have a lot to say. If you hit send or post those words, you're gonna ruin your entire day, and your entire tomorrow, too. What, why? Because it'll hurt your tail. My what? Your technology tail. Um, I don't have a tail. Yes, you do. Everyone does. It follows you day and night. Everything you pass to others through me is attached to you for life. Everything you post sticks to your tail and becomes a part of you. Once you hit send, it's on there for good, and there's nothing you can do. Seriously, I thought you knew. Nope, I didn't know that. Just look at your tail. See all these things? These are gifts you have given yourself. Your tail gets a gift when you post something nice or when it, you use rare words to help. But when you post things that are hurtful and mean, your tail gets a bruise, scratch, or tear. Then others feel bad because of you and the mean things you've chosen to share. And since I'm stuck in the middle of all of it, I turn into an irresponsible mean screen. I really worry about that a lot. What really stinks about my job is that over time, people start to develop keyboard courage. What's that? It means they post online things they would never do or say to a person in face-to-face. -face. And some of that stuff can be really mean and inappropriate. Did you know that every time you post a put down, the person who gets it has to hear 10 pull ups just to feel better? That's, that, that's one sincere compliment. That's a lot. I'm your screen. I see it all. Everything you send goes through me. See, here's that picture you posted last week when you and your friends climbed that tree. Uh -huh. Now that was a blast. This one's neat. 
It's a wonderful gift. It's that picture you took of a stray. You did all you could to find that kitty a home. Now that was a really great day. Here's the selfies you took with your friends last week when you went to the mall. I can't believe how happy you look. And that friend of yours is so tall. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Hey, how come I didn't get a gift for that one? Well, you left out one friend on purpose, then you posted pictures to put her down. My friend watched her face when she saw them online and her smile turned into a frown. Oh yeah, and then she told her mom about it. Her mom called my mom and I got grounded for two whole days. Well, if you are my kid, I'd have grounded you for two years. It's a good thing screens don't have kids. Hey, this wasn't a mean post. How come I got a scratch for it? Because it made the person you sent it to feel bad. Well, then she read it wrong. Some people are just so sensitive. Yeah, that happens a lot. Unfortunately, I can only post words in a few symbols not the human expressions and hidden meanings that go along with them. Talking online is easy, but it's never going to be as powerful as face-to-face -face communication. Hopefully, you humans will start to realize that. What's this? <laughs> That's a hole. How'd I get that? Holes come from posts that are not very smart, like when you share test answers in language arts. <gasps> you know about that, too? Yep. You got this hole from posting your address online. Now that wasn't very smart. And here's where you announced to the entire world you were heading to Yellowstone Park for 10 whole days. What about this one? Oh, that's when you posted your, your password online. Now why would you go and do that? Your password is private information between me and you, not you and the whole wide world. How can I possibly protect you when that happens? Uh, there's no way you know about all this stuff. Oh yeah? And it's not just me that knows. The people who know where to look can find everything you've ever sent. It's like all you have done in a book. You have to be really careful about what you're doing when you are posting online. Because that technology tell of yours is going to follow you through time. You'll end up dragging around every single day. And believe you me, a wounded tail will surely get in your way. How? A technology tail that's bruised, scratched, or torn tells others that you are unkind. They don't want to hang out with you. <laughs> They're afraid of what they might find. Schools will tell you no whenever you try to apply all the scratches, bruises, and tears on your tail will show them you've made others cry. When employers see holes and wounds, they won't want to hire you. They'll assume you're irresponsible online and that you say stuff that's mean and untrue. But look, right now, your tail's pretty good. You've posted so many great things. If you keep this up, you'll be surprised by the gifts a great tail can bring. Yeah, really? Like what? like a good right now, and an even better later, and a much happier screen. What's posted today will matter tomorrow. It's not all about now. You have to think past the end of your nose, and I can show you how. How? Put on a pair of think gloves before you touch the keys. They filter out the stuff that's not good. <laughs> they look a lot like these. How do they work? Ask yourself these five questions. Is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? And is it kind? And if you can honestly answer yes, then post forward, text send, and tweet away. You won't even have to guess. But if that answer to any of those questions ends up being a no, let the Think Glove stop that post. Hit delete, it's the best way to go. Always remember, you're in charge. You choose what goes on your tail. If you filter your words correctly, your answers will never fail. 
And then I won't have to worry about being the irresponsible meat screen ever again. And that'll make my life and yours a whole lot better. All right. So first of all, I want to apologize for the phone going off because that shouldn't happen. And the dog's barking because that shouldn't happen. And Luca came in all the way from Italy. Hello, Luca. You guys, this is important. You want to pass the think test before you hit send. Is what you're going to pass, is what you're going to send true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring to other people? Is it necessary that you post it? And is it kind? You ask those self those questions. And then sometimes you're like, well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So here's a trick. Wait a day and think about it before you hit send. And if somebody sends you something that's not so nice, don't forward it on. Just delete it. Because we don't want you to have a tale that isn't full of compassion and kindness. When I sit by my computer, you guys, I have these two little tiny compassion and kindness jars. And I think, what am I going to send? If I forward that, is it going to be kind? Is it going to be compassionate? And I made them with glitter. So I'm going to flip around and show you this really fast. So, what you put online now follows you. So, if you say, there's a technology tale that isn't very great, okay? Because look how many things they, they put online there. Maybe their home address here, and maybe their personal information up here, okay? And they maybe they said something mean. And then this tale follows this person around, and they're going to want to go in for a job. And they can find out what you've done online. They'll look and find out. And they'll say, we don't want to hire you because you're mean. You're not kind to other people. Because you don't want to say things that are unkind or that are hurtful or that are mean. Because they'll trace them back to you. Not, not to mention the fact you make other people feel bad. But it ends up hurting you in the end. So you want your technology tale to look like this. Every time you post something that's inspiring, that's helpful, that's kind, that's necessary, and that's thoughtful, you grow a gift on your tail. Believe you me, when you go to apply for anything, a job or a school, they're going to check out your tail. And, you know, it's really hard to get rid of these owies on your tail if you, if you, you know, it's just really tough to do that. So if you wouldn't want to hear it or see it yourself, why would you send it to somebody else? So here's an idea. I want you to take a little box and fold it up and make it into a really nice gift. And I want you to place this gift right by your keyboard. And I want you to think about everything you hit, Sandra, right by your phone where you're going to text or tweet. And if it isn't nice, we don't want it out there. It's not good for you. It's not good for us. It's not good for anybody. We want our world to be the best it can be. And this little gift will remind you to post nice things, kind things, and things that add to the world, not take from it. All right. So here's Kirby Doo. Let's see. She's sporting her little, it says, uh, cute, the cute shell rule. And yes, she does. And here's her little sidekick. Miss Tommy, who got barked at during the story because she must have done something wrong, but Kirby's teaching her the ropes. And this is Julia Cook signing off for Monday. Wait till Friday. We're going to read Don't Be Afraid to Drop because we're all starting to get back in the world in the real way right now. We don't want to miss out on anything. We don't want to do it the wrong way. It's all about change and getting out of, getting out of your comfort zone and trying new things. I have so enjoyed you guys this whole time. It's so much fun. You can watch these videos on YouTube for a while. They'll still be posted. And um, if you want more ideas on Technology Tale, check out TPT, Julia Cook Encore Store. And there's a few ideas on there that are pretty good. So, love you guys. See you on Friday.